YouTube, what's going on? Uh, West Coast Gamers here. Back with Horse, Horse Racing Manager 2. Now, this isn't... Um, I, I don't even have a stable mode on here. Like, every time I move this game from my PCs to my laptops, because I'm uh, obviously I'm playing on a new system, my save games don't transfer. And there was a save game on here. I have no idea where it is. The file is probably uh, mislocated. Anyways, we're going to get right into jockey mode, because I want to... Uh, I just want to talk to you guys about this game and the skill level, the skill gap that it takes. Now, some people claim they're really good at it, and I'm sure there are, but I think naturally, as great as this game is, what they didn't really do well for, especially for the harness horse racing, was the temperament and how you can control the horse's speed, slow it down, make it go faster, so on and so forth. I mean, almost 90% of the time, I don't win races in this game or even place is because the horses tire out and that's because it's so hard to manage you're using the arrow keys we're just going to throw up our jockey threads here right quick but like i said you're using the arrow keys if you tap the up arrow key once it goes the horse goes too fast if you tap it uh, if you tap the down arrow key then it slows down too much like i really feel like that's something that they did not program correctly with the game and if they were still developing this game and still doing updates that's something they would have patched now you can say oh it just comes down to skill and that's perfectly fine but i genuinely believe it's something that they did not do well originally when they made this game and like i said they discontinued support on it so it's one of those things that went uncorrected essentially that's wholeheartedly uh what I believe here, we're just gonna throw in, uh, you know, let's do the green and the yellow. <clears throat> so, that, like I said, that is one thing I wish um, could have been updated, and I've been trying to research myself to see if I could somehow uh, manipulate, uh, you know, some of those files, so the um, the control for us as the players would be better. We're just gonna do uh, West Coast Gamers. And it's very difficult. It's very difficult. If I do find a way to do it and you guys want the change, of course, I will let you know and I will just send it to you. If you've already purchased the game, I'll just send you an updated file. Um, but I have not figured it out yet. If anybody else is better at figuring that stuff out, feel free to kind of play around with the files in the Horse Racing Manager 2 folder and let me know. Um, it's It's been almost six or seven years since I've even tried to... <clears throat> look at anything as far as the files are concerned i know six or seven years seems like a long time but it's really been that long the only thing i was able to do was to was to convert this game into english and after that i just i was like hey i'm happy it was so stressful it took me literally almost half a year to figure out how to convert it into english just off of coding and manipulating the files myself but when i say the coding um, just to at least change the language into English because some things were in English so you're like the game's got to be able to have that anyways uh, we are racing here at Los Alamitos doesn't make sense because Los Alamitos doesn't do trotting but this game is whatever you just bypass that the general cup you see 6,000 is for first place on and so forth we're going 1600 meters on the sand and firm uh, so we got a field of 13 here our horse is four stars looks like the rest of the field is underneath so we should be pretty we should be pretty strong. Our speed is 67, our acceleration is 65, technique 43, or excuse me, 63, stamina 43. Not terrible. Um, look at the rest of the field. Wolf, this horse, one stamina. But watch, this horse ends up like winning or something. Unless he was actually one. Even uh, cash captainship. This horse has four stamina. His last five races, though, at first place, disqualification, ninth, fourth, and first. Just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Stamina to me is such a huge part of this game, and some of these horses have like terrible stamina and they're winning. And then horses with great stamina can't even place. So it makes no sense at all. Like I said, it's some parts of this game that just don't make sense. All right, let's go ahead and post up. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is just kind of an update video. I'm talking about this aspect. I want you guys' thoughts in the comment section below and your feedback more so if you've been playing this game obviously um how has your luck been with harness horse racing now granted until now i've been playing it on the normal difficulty and maybe it's a little bit too challenging right now this race is on easy but i still feel like controlling the horses for harness horse racing is much more difficult in this game than the thoroughbreds thoroughbreds you just got to run your race right and you should be okay harness horse racing though it's you guys will see what i'm talking about so we're going to have to move to the inside, so maneuverability is kind of going to be a pain right now. If we get a good start. And we're off and trotting. 
So we'll move this bubble circle over here. We got some windage to deal with. We'll move over as soon as we can. You see now the field is moving. The field is moving relatively fast. So I got to move my horse up. But watch my watch my effort and my pace. Pace is really fast. Effort's probably gonna go. See, now I slowed it down one. The horse slows down too much. You'll see. The horse is exerting no energy. You know what I mean? This is what I mean. Like it's. I guess you do have to just kind of really play with the keys like tap up tap down tap up tap down keep doing that till you find your rhythm but that doesn't always work now we got a good pace right here we're settling in behind this horse in front of us we're not exerting any effort in the bottom left hand corner our pace is only at one uh, bar out of four one circle however you want to refer to it we have no wind up on this uh, back stretch so we're good right now this is very unusual keep in mind i'm playing on easy so of course managing stamina and managing the acceleration and de deceleration of the horse will be easier on this difficulty but in any other case it's going to be a pain in the butt see now the field's moving up a little bit so now i need to get moving now we're going to move him I'll watch he's going to exert all that energy he or she i didn't check the horse's gender before the race but um that's my only issue it's the only reason why i haven't played this game because it's so frustrating it's not even like a matter of being good or bad it's a matter of the game mechanics literally being kind of broken and unless you figured out a way to master it i still haven't playing this game all these years i still have not only way i figure uh my best chance at kind of doing good in this game is to increase the horse's stamina so they don't tire out at the end because like i said stamina is always what it ends up screwing me we're gonna have to make a really wide turn here and we should have got going earlier, but it's all good. Um, let's see. We got plenty of distance. We might. I don't even know if I need to put the horse under the whip yet. No, we got some good speed. Maybe once right now. Here we go. Don't break. No, you're good. We got stamina. Now, keep in mind, this is on easy, and our stamina is quite higher than the other horses. Still exerting. We might actually get a, a placing finish. All right. And no, uh, looks like we're going to get seventh. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible, but it's not where I wanted to finish. But like I said, managing that stamina, that's the only gripe about this game. If that was fixed, I would play it more. <clears throat> In fact, it, it's come to a, such a desperation point. Oh, we did actually still place for Sabbath. We still get money. I mean, this is jockey mode. This doesn't count towards anything. Just kind of want to talk and uh, show you guys a little bit of when I'm, of why I haven't played this game a lot. I know people say, when is the series coming back? I wanted to come back, and I wish the AI could race your horses. Now, you can simulate races, and can I skip this race? I don't want to do this one. Nah, I guess we're going to have to do it. 3,000 meters. Ugh. 3,000 meters is not fun at all. Uh, but like I said, um, it's, it's been so desperate. I've gotten to that desperation where I'm considering about playing the predecessor of this game, which I've never uploaded on this channel. And it's called Final Stretch Horse Racing Sim. Like it's, it has so many different titles from different countries. So to find it is really hard, but I know where to find it. And I was thinking about going back to that. Now, the course, the graphics, the gameplay compared to this night and day difference. It's the predecessor of this game. And it was made, I think, like in the late 90s or early 2000s. This game was made in like 2006, I think. So much newer. But the previous game uh, has harness horse racing. It has that good stuff. But... Um, like I said, the overall gameplay performance is just... The gameplay is actually not terrible. It's just the graphics and the presentation. It's it's very old. But the game is balanced. Harness horse racing, you can manage your horse's stamina properly. I'm thinking about playing it again just to give it a shot. I don't think I could get attached to doing another series. Um, I used to play it as a kid all the time. I never recorded it on YouTube. Like I said, I don't think I could do a series with that predecessor game for the simple fact that it's so outdated and I don't think anybody would really care to watch it. And I thought I clicked race. Um, but I'll give it a shot. Who knows? People may be like, hey, this is something interesting and new. Why not? And um, it's definitely less taxing on your computer. If uh, you play this game and sometimes you have some issues graphically or performance wise, that game will definitely work. It's the same game as this one. It's just like I said, the older first version. That you can this is horse racing manager 2 you can consider that one horse racing manager 1 so I, i'm gonna find it and then i'm gonna try to upload it for you guys just to show you like i said i love this game i love the presentation it's beautiful i love the options it's just the harness horse racing i think is really 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 jacked and it's not balanced um and like i said the only way you really have a chance of winning is if you have a horse with godly stamina like almost 90 plus stamina 
is the only chance you have of doing well without having to worry about stamina. But every single race, I've never played a horse racing game where I know stamina is important, but like every single race, I'm like, ah, I gotta watch stamina, I gotta watch stamina. You know, certain races you'll be good based off of the distance, based off of, um, you know, your horse's running ability and where, whether they like to run in the front or the back. <clears throat> Um, but this game, when it comes to harness horse racing, is the only one that I have to consistently worry about the dang stamina. And it's really annoying. And like I said, it's why I haven't played this game uh, frequently in, in a while. It just it, it ruins the fun. It was just like, well, if I'm going to tire out before the race finishes, there's no point. If I run 50 races and maybe one race, I have a chance of placing. Not even winning, but placing. <clears throat> It's a little frustrating, man. It's the only reason why in my previous series, like, look, now this horse may just be completely outclassed because this is 3,000 meters and we're trying to keep up and we can't do anything. And yeah, we're going to tire out before this race even finishes. This horse is running full effort and can't even keep up with the field. That is awful. That is awful, awful, awful. I'm sure, I can put the bubble to try to prevent some of the windage from hitting us and to preserve stamina, but this horse is not catching up. There's nothing I can do about that. If I put him under the whip once, I mean, probably going to break. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's things like that that have kept me away from playing this game. Because the thoroughbred stuff, I mean, there's plenty of thoroughbred games. And the thoroughbred racing in this game is not the best. So I wouldn't even want to waste time, like, playing it, you know? It's not bad. It's just you got Gallup Racer. You got Rival Stars. You have Starters Orders. You have G1 Jockey. So many of those games are much better than this game's version of the thoroughbred horse racing. So, you know, like, this is the best harness horse racing game out there to date. Graphic wise, details and everything. Um, it's it's a reason why people want this game. I'm pretty sure people wouldn't care for it <clears throat> if it was just a thoroughbred horse racing game. I know some people would like it, but most people wouldn't care. Most people would not care. And uh yeah, we're gonna tire out before this. I mean, full effort the whole way. No way to conserve stamina. I probably should have tucked in the pocket earlier when the race started, but um yeah. <clears throat> But that's what I mean. It's just, uh, it's very demotivating. You don't want to play this game if you know you're not even going to make it through the race because of the game's just inability to manage stamina properly. And I know some other people have emailed me on this too, like, hey, have you? is there any way to finish races? My horses are always tired. I'm like, no, not really. That's one thing I wish they would fix. Like I said, it's something I'm trying to figure out myself. Are we even on the home stretch or is this the back stretch? This is probably the back stretch, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this race is finished. For me, this horse is, has no speed. I think stamina would have been fine, but this horse has zero speed at all. Like, Look how long it's taking. It's taking so long just to get around this group that's barely even running full speed. They're probably like exerting two bars of energy right now. <clears throat> but yeah, it's um like I said, it's just one of those things about this game I, that I wish were different. Like I said, I will try to see if I can somehow figure out where the coding is for uh how the player controls the horse and how much you know tapping on the arrow keys uh influences the stamina if i could figure out a way to make that much more balanced and smoother where the one tap of the of the upward of the up arrow key wouldn't make your horse go 100 miles an hour and then one tap of the bottom arrow key the down arrow key wouldn't make your horse slow down to basically the speed that's just not consistent and unless you found a fix, I don't think it's actually... I think almost everybody playing this game would have encountered this on most of their races. And like I said, it's just it's frustrating and it's demotivating. If that was fixed, I would be playing this game all the time. And I used to. I used to, quite frankly, more mainly because, uh, you know, it was still kind of new to me. It was still fresh. I wasn't playing it for years on end. But like I said, we're going on six, seven plus years. And at this point, I just don't want to play a game that I feel... From that harness horse racing aspect is broken. It's broken unless you kind of cheat. And when I say cheat, it doesn't guarantee you're going to win. It just means the one attribute of your horse, which is stamina, that attribute is going to be at 90%. Because you have to, in order to even compete, you at least need to have the stamina to finish the race. We got 2,100 meters here, 46 stamina, rest of the field, 30s, 40s, some 50s and 60s, but mainly 30s and 40s. So I don't know where our chances are, but we'll see. Um, let's see our last places. We broke twice. Got a first and an eighth. We'll see. You can simulate the races, but I mean, come on. Who wants to do that in this game? This game is so beautiful. 
uh, presentation wise and and, vi and aesthetically you don't want to simulate the races not in this game so you have to play it and like I said when it comes to the harness horse racing it's just I think the mechanics are a little broken but I will try my best to see if I can get a balance to it and if I do like I said I will update the file and uh, anybody that wants it will just have to request it via email or in the comment section below this video and that will probably be easier actually and then uh, we can go from there all right, so not a bad start. We're gonna get inside here. I want to stay right behind this six horse if we can. Yep. And like I said, some races are okay, but for the most part, you're not gonna get that. I don't mind struggling. You guys know that. You've seen my Gal Racer series. I put it on a hard difficulty. I intentionally wanted to start off with a really hard grind to get to the top, and we're still not even halfway there yet. But it's fun, and you've been able to see the progress. We started off not winning races and coming in, you know, second to last and three places from last to now winning races, winning major G1s. We finally were able to get our first foal, which I can't wait to get back to that. Um, I, I love a challenge, but I want to make sure I can even have a challenge. There is no challenge in this game if the game mechanic itself is broke. Hopefully that makes sense to some people. Because I know over time I've seen comments like, oh, you don't know how to play this game and yada, yada, yada. No, I know how to play this game. I've been playing this game literally since I'm 27. I've been playing this game since I was like 8 or 9 years old. I know how to play it. This particular game, Horse Racing Manager 2, the game mechanics for harness horse racing are broken when it comes to acceleration and deacceleration. Unless you have the perfect horse, you're going to struggle. And it's not like a fun struggle. It's like a, I literally can't do much because the game was not coded properly for this mechanic. Like I said, I have no other complaints about this game. I, I love every aspect of it. That's the only aspect that's frustrating and that, you know, like I said, kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah. We'll see if we can do another race after this one if it's a, a shorter race. Um, see, we got to exert all this stamina to catch up. And there was nothing I can do. This this. Uh, field is moving very fast so chances are if I would have tried to get my horse to catch up to them earlier on it would have tired out anyways so either way I mean I'm not trying to win these races I'm talking and trying to prove a point like I said we'll do one more after this hopefully it'll be the shorter race like at 1600 meters or something but um yeah all in all I'll see what I can do to get the harness horse racing mechanic balanced um if nobody else is having the issue, then I guess you're lucky, and that's perfectly fine, but it, it really bothers me, and like I said, that's why I haven't played it. People are like, where's Horse Race Manager 2? And I just explained it. So, uh, I'm going to try to figure it out. If one of you guys wouldn't mind if you have the expertise or at least the knowledge on trying to like change some of these files, it's in a, what is it, an XML document? It's not like a regular notepad or something. You can just kind of change the variables, so that's why it's taking a while. I have to kind of play around and figure out with... I figure out exactly what I can edit the files with because changing it to English like I said was a pain that took basically six months of research and learning and you know uh, testing so to actually change something within the game itself that's like a mechanic and try to find those variables in the files yeah that's gonna be much more difficult but if you uh, think you can do it please let me know comment section below I would greatly appreciate it all right so one more race 1600 meters lovely and we're back at los alamitos that's where we will close out today's video uh, just a reminder i'm mad at myself for not saying in the beginning of the video if you guys haven't now already purchased this game or you don't already have it description box below i'll have a link to this game obviously make sure you read everything on the website prior to making purchase only 10 buckaroos and you can play it but also keep in mind you may want to wait because i really i think i'm gonna find i'm going to find a way on how to make the harness horse racing function better for us as the players where it's more realistic where we can legitimately control and it's not just one tap up your horse is going like i said full speed and one tap down your horse is basically coming to a coming to a halt or a walking pace um so you might want to wait but i think i'll get it figured out i have no idea how long if you don't mind it and you want to play around with it yourself then by all means you can still acquire the game now for sure. Like I said, if I do figure out that fix, I mean, it's, it's free of charge. You'll just have to let me know your emails. Um, let me know which email you used to purchase the game if you did so I can just verify that you already have it. Because uh, me sending you one file if you don't have the game won't do you any good. Oh, which? Okay, we are going. No, we're going. Okay, we are going this way. Okay, I could, I could not tell 
um, if we were going to the right or to the left, because sometimes this thing is weird. Like, if you're looking at this, you wouldn't know if you were on the top track or the bottom track. You know what I mean? So, I had to verify. Now, this is a good pace right here. We're at a good pace. We're in good pack positioning. Um, stamina, we shouldn't be exerting much. In fact, we're exerting none right now. We have a potential to do good in this race. But like I said, these, th th this type of situation, these type of situations in this game don't happen often. And when they do, you, you know, you're like, oh, finally, I have a chance to do something. But it's not often. So you can't really get too excited. And then it's usually only on the shorter races that I get these. I don't care for the longer races in this game because who wants to watch a harness horse racing race go longer than a mile? Like, nobody does, realistically. You think about it. Nobody really wants to watch it go over a mile. Three, you know, anything more than that's a little much. <laughs> but we're looking good here. We're looking good. We're going to have to make a really far swing because uh, we're not going to get out. Oh, looks like horses are about to break. Oh, blocking. Yep, blocking as usual. Okay, are you all going to move outside for me? Yeah, you kind of are. All right, that's fine. Get going. No break, no break, no break. We're good. Don't block. Are you Are you breaking or what? Sometimes you can't tell what these freaking horses are doing, man. It's so annoying. Yeah, you're just going to swing right in front of me. You're going to cut me off. It's hard as horse racing. Can't really complain, man. It's just part of the game. Okay, do we do we gas do we gas out or do we just get blocked? Okay, we just got gassed. Oh, we just got blocked. Yeah. So we had stamina to finish that race, but then we got blocked. And the AI also seemed to mimic your moves. If you move to the outside, I mean, technically speaking, that would be disqualifications. I'm mad they don't have that in this game because the AI will copy what you do. If you try to move to the outside, they move to the outside. If you try to move back in, they move back in. Like, you can't do that <laughs> consistently. You can't impede the runner's path. And that's what I mean. It's just another mechanic of the game that they have not fixed. Um, that I will try to balance, at least for the player control ability. When it comes to that, I can deal. Um, but yeah, we have about 1,800 meters. Nah, we'll call it a day. So guys, that will do it for this episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. And can I edit any horses? No, because I don't have a stable. I mean, uh, a manager stable mode going on. Multiplayer doesn't work. Um, appreciate you guys' love and support. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below what... Um, experience you've had with harness horse racing if you understand what I'm saying if you have that experience if you still to do to this day if you figure out a way how to fix it um, anything in regards to what I talked about in today's video in regards to the harness horse racing game mechanics please let me know that in the comment section below I would greatly appreciate it like I said if you want to acquire this game that also be in the description box of this video read through everything carefully and uh, you can go ahead and make that purchase uh, like I said probably will not be bringing this game back for a series until I can figure out how to get that mechanic much more balanced or i'm just gonna have to do what i used to do start stable mode and make sure any horse i get i just put their stamina at 95 plus they will get tired but it's not to the point where they'll tire out you know a quarter of a mile before the race even finishes like that's just it's just frustrating and it's a waste of time um so that's the only other way i would probably bring the game back as a series if i can't figure out how to uh, fix the game mechanic files for harness horse racing myself um, So we'll see we'll play around with it and I'll obviously let you guys know as always appreciate love and support for everybody That's been leaving comments on the videos continue to do that I will continue to reply to all of you of course as always if you have any other people uh, Family friends whomever you know, that are into horse racing and might be into these type of gameplays uh, Bring them along to the channel of West Coast gamers of course I upload other stuff But for my horse racing content on this channel, I think they would also appreciate and enjoy the content Hopefully, uh, but we'll be back with some horse racing content as well as other gameplay very soon West Coast gamers sounds next time. Hope you all great and fantastic day. See ya. Yeah.